Good morning, church, and welcome to our morning devotion. I hope you all are doing good. There are times in our life when we are in so much of pain, when everything we do, it is going against us. We even say that we did everything right in the eyes of God. Then why there is so much of problem and why there is so much of pain? No matter whatever we do, we are powerless to change. Sometimes to change the circumstances around us, the pain and the sadness sometimes become. unbearable it is too heavy for us to bear similarly in bible we see the life of job job lost everything even though he always did what was right in the eyes of god his 10 children were dead he had lost his wealth all his riches were gone and also his health and all these things happened just in a matter of days He was left with a sharp-tongued wife and with three friends who blamed Job for his misfortune. Yes, Job cried out, "If my misery could be weighed and my troubles be put on the scales, they would outweigh all the sands of the sea." We see that at the end of Job's life was even better than the beginning. because god had restored everything job had lost like job we must not give up in life whatever bad the circumstances may be in our life from job's life we can learn that bad things happen to good people job's suffering did not come to job because job was bad but rather because of his unwavering faithfulness to god Also from Job's life we can learn that in the midst of our suffering we must never lose our hope in God. One of the greatest statements of faith is found in Job chapter 13. It says, "Though he slay me, I will hope in him." That is true. No one and nothing can steal your joy or your peace today when your hope is in God. We must never lose our hope in God. Also we can learn from Job's life that even our friends may fail to comfort us during our trials or when we are in trouble. But we must not forget that our God is the best comforter. That is why Job said to his three friends in Job chapter 16, "Miserable comforters are you all." Also we learn from Job's life that even in the middle of god's silence god's presence is always there with us at times it will be frustrating when we feel that god is silent like job who asks god why god why yes nearly 25 time job asks god why and why but we must never forget that god's presence is there during this times of silence and we learn also from job's life that wisdom comes from fearing god and turning away from evil yes humility or being humble is the key the times pride can interfere with us while following the ways of the lord that is why job said in chapter 28 behold the fear of the lord that is wisdom and to turn away from evil is understanding And finally we see at the end of Job's life was even better than it was in the beginning. So today if you are feeling stress and frustrated in life and wounded by this world just pause for a while and take a look at all of God's creation. You can go outside under the big sky and remind yourself who your God is. and then get into his word in the bible and learn more and more about god's love for you and remind yourself that if he can create and sustain the entire universe surely he will take care of you after reading all this on job's life it reminds all of us about one god's promise that is i will never leave you not forsake you amen